Yes, uh, <clears throat> following Bitcoin analysis, the last one we had, so we had marked this as our all-time high, and then we were around this area <clears throat> where we marked this as our support, and then we had this structural break and area of possible uh, support. Then when we come to the lower time frame, which is the daily, now we are left with, this is what we have on the daily. So we have a mini resistance here. So we want to see if price is able to reach to these all time highs here, then it has to go past this resistance. And the best way to observe this will be from a lower time frame. Uh, you will see clearly in our last video, we had predicted that this will be our support area. And look at what has happened here because of this support we have the market buying from and the reason was just because of this high the market had formed a new high here this high was taken and so when price came back it had to pull up, back up so now what we have here is for price to continue up here there must be a break of this and then a possible retest that's when we can have that otherwise we shall want to see what will happen here so the next scenario that could happen when price reaches here we could have a strong engulfing and then a mini resistance in a lower time frame, and then the market pulls back. So these are the possible scenarios that can happen here. So we already know this is our all-time high. But then now, these are the two things which can happen on Bitcoin here, either to continue up here or this. So what will be formed here will give us more directions on how to trade. But that is Bitcoin for now.